Hi, so I read about Mesh Network couple of days back, and I think I'm gonna make my own one. How I don't know, but the challenge here is I have to do it tonight. One night, single project. That's it. So what I'm gonna use for this project are these ESP32 development board. So they are mini computer that can talk to each other by using the protocol called ESP Now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna treat them as a node. and i'm going to make different various nodes and i'm going to connect them so that they can talk to each other without a central node that is the definition of mesh network but how i'm going to do this let's see so for simplicity let's just take we have two nodes so first thing first i want that both of the node must know each other unique addresses so that they know where to send the message but i'm not going to statically type any of the address into the code so what i want is whenever the node get started it should broadcast its address to every node in the area and every node must kept that address into a routing table so that they know how many nodes they are connected to so let's code that so before start coding i just need a visuals of what i'm going to code so i created this i just wrote whatever i know so this is the network as far as i know and each node have its own mac address and a name so what will happen when the announcement function call each node will announce its mac address and name to its neighbor node so that each of them will know each other and after the announcement function whenever there is a new announcement each node will uh, maintain a routing table so that they can have neighbor's node mac address and name so all i need is just to select which node i need to send message and i already know the mac address so i think i can convey message so let's code that <laughs> So I coded it but there is a huge problem that we misunderstood. So suppose there is node A, this is node B and this is node C. So A and B are connected because they are in the range. B and C are connected because they are in the range. But A and C never connects because they are not in the range. It's like similar problem that I know you because we guys are friend. You know someone else because you guys are friend. But I don't know this third friend. and i cannot sense or know that i can message or there is one more in the network that i can transfer data to because i never know about the node so the solution of this is whenever there is a new address or new node each of the node will broadcast or distributes its address to everyone so like a node will send the address to b node and b node will say oh it's a new address means there is someone else in the network i should distribute its address to everyone else so b node will send this address to c same thing c node will send its address to b and b node think the same oh this is a new node i should send this to everyone else so it will send this to a and just like that three of them know each other including a and c and I hope it's making sense and it's work because it's 1 a.m. in the morning. Two hours later. So I coded everything. Okay, I used ChatGPT, but let me tell you, ChatGPT won't code everything. So yeah, we code everything. So it's time for testing. I have three development board and I will deploy them. two of them at somewhere in my house with the long distance and uh, one of them will connect it to the computer where we can see if they can broadcast each the network and i'm going to test the a b c dilemma so yeah let's test it okay so here are my two nodes ready to be deployed and here is one node connected to the computer which is sending and fetching the data so let's see Okay so this is the forest area of my house so i am plugging my node here so one node is here and one node is back there in the room okay so if i see the routing table i am only getting one address which is this node address itself so that node is far away so it's our problem a to c is not connecting so i need to add the b node so that they can be connected so let's add the b node So this is node B I am adding in between the node A and node C. So now if I see the routing table I have two nodes 
so node A and B are connected and I hope node B and C are connected and any moment I will get a node C address from node B so let's wait so as you can see now in the routing table I have three nodes so A, B, C three nodes are connected to each other and I can send a message from node A to node C via node B because they are all connected in a mesh network so that's how I created an ESP32 mesh network within one night I know there are more optimized way and I want to optimize my version too so this project is open source the code and discord are in the description please do join the discord so that we can chit chat about where I messed up or how can we improve that alright see you another day and I think I'm gonna do these type of challenge because yeah they are fun so yeah see you good night like subscribe or maybe not it's up to you bye